You're watching WCIA3 Sports with Brett Barrett. Sectional titles up for grabs across the area tonight. Sista Park has been here before the Timberwolves go for their first sectional since 2014. Meanwhile, Gibson City Melvin Sibley, longtime listener, first time gamer. Falcons go for their first sectional title in school history. Let's go to Colfax. Hello, Ridgeview, the side of this 1A clash and fans from both schools showing out some good ball movement from the T-Wolves. Leads to a Lauren Hamrook bucket. Both teams trade blows. And then on the other end, Mallory Rosendahl gets the layup for the Falcons. And this one, some defense showing up as well. More from GCMS as they get the bucket here going the other way. Lily Sizemore, but Reagan King in a tough spot for CP. Almost gives it up. Ends up in Josie Newcomb hands she buries the triple this one ends up going to double overtime and CP survives with a 43 42 win what a game they will face Altamont in Monday's former city super one other 1a game Salt Fork season comes to a close with a 10 point loss to Altamont at the Central A&M sectional final 2a play has top seed Watsika with a short drive to Gilman to face top seed Piatone this game tight from the start to finish Ava Schwartz adding on on three for the Warriors there. Then Brianna Denault driving to the hoop for the bucket. She had 10 to lead the Warriors and they are clawing back from their biggest deficit of the game. Trailing by seven heading into the third. Jasmine Isington gets her own rebound and the mid-range jumper. Down one, 15 seconds left on the clock, and Piatone ices it there with some good defense. 31-30, Watsika comes up just short, finishing its season with a 27-5 and record. Meanwhile, in Newton to Topless, they are four points shy to Robinson, and in Beardstown, Camp Point Central beats Pleasant Plains 43-37. It's title or bust this season for Lincoln, and not a sectional we're talking about. This is the next step for the Railers taking on Morton in the East Peoria a sectional title game. Jenna Bowman for three. This offense clicking all season long. Then Becca Heitzik for two. She follows it up with a Taryn Stoltzenberg to Chloe Froby in the corner. Colorado State signee is pure 61-30 the final. Railers roll into the Super Bowl. They will face Dixon in the LaSalle Peru on Monday. Other 3F finals, Effingham's fantastic season over after a good run at top seed Highland and Glenwood scores the upset over Quincy Notre Dame 44 to 43.